welcome to today's video. This video is going to be more of a fitness style video. So updating you guys on my fitness goals, on my health goals, I'm here with Mr. Wyatt. And we're heading home from uh, VegFest. I wanted to update you guys while y'all watch some workout footage of what I want to do in the next three, two months. Two months now. I have decided, and this was a goal of mine before my injury, I've decided that I am going to be competing in powerlifting. Um, I'm, I've been a little on the fence about it since my injury. I mean, not necessarily on the fence, but just deciding when to do it um, and when would be a smart time to do it. But back to normal, I'm feeling awesome. My training is going well, so I might as well jump in um, I'm not going for crazy PRs in this this powerlifting meet, so don't think that I'm going to injure myself. I just want to get one competition under my belt. There's one in Leander. It's on June 17th, and I'm going to be competing in it. Hey! Insert Yay! applause here. <laughs> Wait, but don't um, you also doing a race of some kind right before that? Yes. I keep forgetting about that. We're also doing the Spartan Sprint on May 21st, which is two days before my birthday. That's not really anything I'm gonna necessarily train for. It's a five, five K? Five, no, it's five miles. miles. Five miles total, yeah. but there's obstacles in between. So as long as I don't injure myself, Everyone should know what Spartan is. I should be fine. I should be fine. June 17th is going to be my meet date. And the, the way that this uh, division is set up, I, I can't recall the name. It's a very small organization just to get my feet wet, see how it goes, kind of get the nerves out. And then the next round, I'm gonna go for like being competitive in it. But the way that the weight classes are set up, there's a 132 pound weight class and a 148 pound weight class. I'm sitting like right in between those two. So my thought, what I'm gonna try to do is come in for the lower weight class. So I'm going to be dieting just a little bit um, to try and make that lower weight, but I'm not gonna push too hard. So I've got macros set up. We're gonna try and push possibly for that lower weight class, but if my strength suffers or if I don't make it, oh well, um, I'll be in the 148. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. As far as my training goes, I'm back on my powerlifting program that I was doing before I got injured, and that's that four days total of lifting Two days a week, Monday, Tuesday, I do heavy weight, lower reps, so three uh, three sets of six reps on certain lifts, and then Thursday, I do those same lifts, but three sets of 12 reps, so lighter weight, but all the time focusing on form, making sure I'm getting depth with squats, making sure I'm touching my chest with bench, all of that good stuff. Then my macro, so I had actually talked to this guy about it. And you remember the conversation that we had? I was mentioning the weight class thing to you, and I said I could possibly try and cut to go to the weight class, and what did you say? Sure. But what did you say after that? I don't remember. You said I'll do it with you. <sighs> Not powerlifting. Do you remember that? Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. So Matt might be getting more consistent on some type of workout or yeah. health focused Something. Eating. Running. Something. Approach. Because right now he does nothing. Nothing. My macros. I'll, I'll let you guys know about that. Y'all know that I've been intuitively eating for a while, which I highly advocate. If you can move towards that, best lifestyle is just to eat as you're hungry. But as I also discussed in my video, there are times when tracking your macros is beneficial uh, and can definitely help. So hopefully I can show you guys that it doesn't have to be this super obsessive, unhealthy thing whenever you're tracking your food. So I'm gonna be showing you guys more meals, uh, probably some full day of eatings, and it's gonna be interesting in the RV. So I'm doing um, a, sl a slight carb cycling approach. I've got five days of lower carbs and then two days of higher carbs. I've got five days, 180 grams of carbs, 145 grams of protein, 55 grams of fat, and then two days I've got 300 grams of carbs, 45 grams of fat and 145 grams of protein. So that's what I'm working with now. I'm not doing any cardio, just lifting four days a week. Uh, and we're just gonna see how my body responds. Worst case scenario, if I don't make it to the 132 weight class, I'm not gonna do anything extreme to get down to it. Um, I'm just gonna be in that higher weight class and either way, I will do my best. Sounds good. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. 
So I'm gonna be updating you guys on things as it goes along as I was before, but now I have a date and I think I'm 10, 10 weeks out. I think I'm 10 weeks out. So I will be updating you guys probably weekly on this. If you'll have any questions, feel free to leave them below. And I'm excited.